Good afternoon. We're here at the beginning of the Mount Olympus Wilderness in Mill Creek Canyon, Utah, at the end of the Porter Fork Summer Road, or actually just a little ways up the start of the trail that uh, ascends all the way to the um, northwest shoulder of Mount Raymond. Porter Fork is a uh, nice, easy, what shall we say, slack country tour. It starts about three and a half miles up the Mill Creek Canyon Road, three and a half miles from the gate, just around the corner from the Log Haven Restaurant on your right as you're driving up the canyon. It's a pretty mellow backcountry tour, slack country tour, and the Porter Fork Road is essentially a summer road for a variety of second homes that uh, oh, people have. In this winter time it's closed and the snow gets consolidated by uh, a bunch of snowmobiles that bring people to and from their second homes. Uh, it's not typically what you'd expect for Utah skiing. In fact, it uh, seems to have a lot more in common with uh, runs you'd encounter in the East Coast. Old school mountain runs like uh, the Tucker Brook Trail on Cannon Mountain, the Teardrop Trail, the Bruce Trail, the Thunderbolt Trail, uh, those old Civilian Conservation Corps trails. It's pretty narrow, it's not very steep, but steep enough where you're gonna want to make some uh, linked short radius turns. It's a great alternative to going to the resorts on days where you know it's just going to be packed or even on days when uh, the canyon roads are closed, both Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. So we're gonna begin our descent and we get some people coming up. So shall we go? All right, coming down. Hello. <laughs> How far up you going? Yeah, it's pretty late in the day to start anywhere else. Yeah, have a good day. Just gonna make a few adjustments before I begin my descent down. And now here we go. Yeah, that's the first home that we'll see. And there are others too. Ah. Yeah, I definitely want to buckle up a little bit more. All right, and we're off. Port of Fork. All the way back to the car. That's about 750 feet of elevation gain and about a mile and a half. So it is pretty mellow. There are some flatter sections. But as you can see, it is a pretty thrilling descent. Or can be anyway. Almost like a bobsled run, really. But you're on skis. Woohoo! Well, coming up is like one of my favorite houses here in Port of Fork. It even has a name, Stonebrook. If I ever have the money and if it's ever for sale, I think I'll buy it. It's just a beautiful place. Let's make sure I slow down as I'm going by past it. Yeah, here it is. It's up here on our right. Yeah, this place. Stonebrook. I love that detail, that porch. Yeah. I never see anyone there either. Yeah. All the stone, the logs. Just nice old school. All right, let's make it down. Okay.
Here comes a skier. The other side of Mill Creek Canyon, right in front of us. More skiers and a doggy. Hello, how you doing? It's just a winter wonderland out here today. And the Porter Fork of Mill Creek. Woo! Crosses the trail several times, so it really is just kind of an over the river and through the woods type experience. one of the new modern homes, second homes. I don't think anyone lives up here year round, but retirees might. Coming down. Thank you. Woohoo, little guy. How's it going? Yeah. the trailhead yeah among other things Porter Fork Trail is a great I guess place to take people that are new to alpine touring and also a great place to do your first gear check of the season make sure your skins are working all right all your glues okay everything's you know before you head out into more serious backcountry it's a pretty popular spot so I don't think I'm giving any secrets away and here we have the confluence of Porter Fork with Mill Creek. Ah. Beautiful day. Back to the road. Oh wow, this stuff is thick. Porter Fork, there it is. And that's our ski tour for the day. Thanks for riding along.